what is up guys welcome back once again to the next part of our next order let's play i guess but more importantly the second part part two of our boat boutmon dlc expansion x scenario whatever you want to call it this extra quest line that we have been pursuing for so long we finally got through part one which admittedly was a little bit of an extended episode so i don't know if you guys minded that hopefully it was all right for most of you guys but anyways we're back again if you're here watching this one hopefully that means that you enjoyed the first part but regardless this is a second part of a two-part episode so if you missed the first part i'll put it in the description make sure you check that out first but anyways we are here guys in bonnie resort and i haven't been able to put this quest down if you like i've uh, done some other stuff in between the episodes but this is the same day so i i, I feel kind of bad that you guys are getting it episodes at a time but you're here now and that's what's most important we are going to be continuing on our way up through bonnie resort we've got clive we've got steve here clive does have the uh the ability to get sick in this area which is a bit of a detriment but we are um in this blood red crimson red colored bonnie resort we're climbing to the top at the end of the last episode we picked up kota himari saved all the digimon all that good stuff and now some of the main challenges of this particular part awaits us so i'm really excited to see if this guy lives up to the hype that i've read online about hopefully he's going to be a really badass villain we do have to fight him a couple of times so we've got a couple of uh rounds of fighting to look forward to and uh, yeah i guess we should just shut up and kick this episode off here we go Alright friends, come in and get cosy. The first thing that we need to do is top our dudes up with some MP stuff because I've just realised that they're looking a bit, uh, bit deflated after the last few fights. <clears throat> Gonna need to use some energy. I guess this is a bit of a waste in all honesty now that I think about it because once I actually put my brain in, in gear I realise that we're almost about to bridge into... Uh, the new day at midnight and when we go into midnight it's probably going to put us to sleep and we're going to refresh anyway so if you guys missed the last part again or you're just jumping in here we have a couple of options bonner resort has been locked off by these invisible walls i guess we go ahead and jump into this fight with the, the toy agamon here or the clear agamon until we um until we discuss with you guys but bonner resort obviously has these teleportation devices all over the place that are um that are our new point of navigation about this particular part of the map because we we are locked off by invisible walls and we have to use these now if you take the wrong portal some of them take you all the way back to the start there's like a puzzle going on but uh, anyways i'm sure you guys get the drift these are the teleportation devices here these kind of keys or these items now here it looks like we can actually make a choice again we can go left or we can go right interesting i would imagine that if we go up the hill to try and get into the pink stone house we are going to be met by an invisible wall so let's just confirm that yeah examine so here we go you can't go any further so we need to choose guys are we going to take the left path or the right path now so far we have been doing this kind of uh we've had quite a mechanized system where we just always take the clockwise kind of path first so we start on the left work our way around the clock i guess that's kind of back to front for you guys i guess it would be anti-clockwise if i look at my webcam but anyways, I think we should start in this one. Pray to God that it doesn't put us back to the start. And, and if it does, then we'll do a time skip. <clears throat> Save you guys as much time as possible. Because I don't want you guys to have to sit through the uh, the big long-ass journey. So we'll put our boys to bed here. Our tentacular ability is now at two somehow. Which doesn't make sense to me. Because I'm pretty sure we fucking... I'm pretty sure I fixed that before I left the town. But if anything is a mystery about this game, it's how the tent operates and Greymon's shoddy repairing skills. Anyways... I'm going to top these boys up. I am going to use our cheerful apples today, guys, because <clears throat> in the last few episodes, I had forgotten to do this. As you can see, Steve and Clive are both really pissy. Clive, in particular, doesn't like this place, but we're going to use our cheerful apples to try and negate some of that kind of unhappiness. Again, I don't know how much how much that is uh, important to these guys, but regardless, that's them. We've improved happiness, and I think we're going to take this portal here, guys. <laughs> Never done this before, so if it puts us back to the start, I'll be sad, but... <laughs> All right, interesting. So we actually do advance to somewhere that we've never been before. We're on this kind of uh, backwards path and there is a wall here. So we can only go forward into what look like two Piedmon. So our, our last couple of fights in the last episode were filled with Pi Piedmon and Myotismon mostly. I wonder if this is an indication that we're going in the right direction. I'm kind of hoping that it is. Piedmon says that the real fun is just beginning. Is that all he's got to say? I guess it is. All right, tango time with the boys. 
Two Piedmon, based on the fact that we just slain Yukimura and also Rika, hopefully these guys aren't going to be too troublesome. That being said, I am going to go ahead and throw some uh, utility plug-in X's at our guys, just to make these fights go a little bit smoother. Because again, you guys have seen me fighting these dudes a bunch at this point. I don't think you really want <laughs> to sit through big long ass battles. Um, so I'm going to try and get through these fights as quickly as I can so that we can get onto the creme de la creme, you know? The big boss. Because that's what I'm interested in. Not these puny underlings. Here's uh, Donald Sword getting used on us again. God bless. Thanks for that, Piedmon. Slap Bancho Leomon right in the face and break his barrier, which is a bit of a pain. 15,000 damage. Luckily, though, we are absolutely demolishing these dudes and getting them down very, very low. I think that once we get to our limit breaks, we can actually probably finish these dudes off in just a mere moment. So if I can watch uh, Hercules Cabotarimon here, who is in debuff mode, that is a limit break. So I'm going to make you defend. Try and save as much damage as I can because although I'm not taking these fights too seriously, we are kind of uh, restricted in terms of our items because I don't know if we travel back to... If we travel back to the city, guys, I don't know if we're actually going to have to travel back through all these portals. The fights will be gone, I would assume. But I don't really want to reset the area if I can help it. You guys can understand why, right? 22 grand, 350, nice. So a decent amount of money. And now we only have one option, right? We only have one option here, and it's this portal. And then I think that there's another wall here. I'll just show you guys that. I guess there's the, oh, it's connected to the bathroom. But we've also got one of these. I wonder if we should actually use this vending machine to our advantage here. I'm actually going to pick up some bandages really quick, guys, which is a bit weird. But um, I actually realised that I don't have any bandages. So uh, if we take an injury, we could use our medicine, but I kind of want to keep that just on the off chance that one of our guys gets sick again because, again, Clive has that um, kind of ability, if you like. So here we go. This time we're going to jump through into this bad boy. Hopefully it takes us further on. All right, this looks like progress to me. Invisible wall here because that's the way we came earlier. I think so far we've made the right choices. Otherwise, we would have been putting back to the start. So I think we dodged a couple of bullets there. That was kind of lucky. Let's keep going. Because I think that we're almost close. We've got three exclamation points up ahead. And it looks like, oh, fucking hell. Yet another Piedmon battle. Are you serial? And my Otismon. Is it going to be a 3v3 gangbang? Who knows? Let's find out. What's up, boys? Piedmon. Hope you'll indulge us in a, low, a little low comedy. All right. Is that it? Is that all he's going to say? Yep. Straight into the battle. All right. Cool. Is my Otismon here as well? Yes. Two versus three, guys. All levels, well, 68, 68, and 64. We're just, again, going to throw out our uh, utility plug and X's. Try and make the fights go smooth. And uh, we have to be careful, guys, because the last time we fought against the three Piedmon in the graveyard in the last episode, although I've been talking about how we're going to try and get through these fights as quickly as possible, the last time we fought against three Piedmon, they were actually pretty tough. So I don't want to underestimate any fights moving forward from this point. Otherwise, we might end up... Uh, you know, resetting back to the city. And I, I don't want to climb this motherfucking hill again. Because if there's anything worse than climbing up Bonnie Resort over and over, it's climbing up Bonnie Resort when there's these goddamn portals littered about the place. That is... I think that's a limit break, but I don't know who he's using it on. I should have just guessed. I think it's actually Hercules Cabotarimon. Let's see. It was. Shit. I should have just trusted my gut there. That was a bit of a misplay, but it's all good. One more super recovery down the drain. But this fight was a lot, lot easier than the last one, so I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of confused, but I'm also not going to complain. I guess we did use our power-ups. This Piedmon, we could help him with the limit break, I guess. Let's help him with the flashy boss punch just to finish him off in style, save a bit of energy for our guys, and hopefully maintain a bit of HP. Because I thought if he popped up on his feet there and then used the limit break back on us, that would have been less than optimal. Alright, we're trying to do things as cleanly as we can around here. Even though it doesn't seem like it at times, I promise you that's always my main objective. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Fight over. And that is us. I think we can just move on, right? No more invisible walls, please. I think we made it, guys. All the way to the grounds of the Pinkstone House. This was where we were trying to get to, if I didn't mention that earlier. But obviously, as I said, I think you guys are aware. Right. Well, this is certainly a... This is certainly a sexy welcome party. What's up, boys? I see you rolled out uh, the big dogs for us coming. Two Venom Myotismon and a regular Myotismon. I think what we need here is a touch of excitement. Dude, you can touch whatever you want to get excited, mate. I'm not going to get involved in that. We're just here to beat your ass and get to the, the big boss. So here we go. More fights. What we got this time? 57, 57, and 57. Kind of confused. Although in saying that, these guys are obviously... Um, I'm going to just hit a defense here because they're hitting, using some digital moves on us here. Wow. Venom Infusion gets instantly dropped on us. Wow, that's... Uh, you guys are full tryhard, I see. Is that another one? Vio... <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> We've got Night Red here, very, very cool animation. I've always loved that. I don't know why, it's really, it's so simple, but it's it's just a really cool feature. I really like my Otismon's ultimate in the Cyber Sleuth games as well. Venom, my Otismon, I don't know who you're going for, so I'm just going to tell both our guys to defend here. Try and not take this. It's obviously going for Hercules, but in the, in the moment, I didn't have a lot of time to think about that, so that was a bit of a pain, but here we go. Guys are going to ease off the gas a bit. Our HP is looking okay. That's another limit break. But I guess we're rolling through these fights really, really fast, guys, which is a massive plus. I don't, I'm not going to complain in the slightest. So Hercules takes a hit to the face, which is a bit of a shame. This takes us down to 75 supers. So obviously that is a lot, but I don't know how many we're going to need for our final boss. This is another limit break. And this time I'm pretty sure he's gone for Hercules, so I won't tell Bancho to defend. I'll just leave Bancho chilling. Hopefully Hercules catches the Venom infusion here like a boss, he does. This one, is that a nut? I think he's going for Hercules Cabotarium on as well. So many limit breaks, man. The game's cheesing us hard, guys. It's trying to knock us off our game, but we're not going to let it happen. I'm on the ball today. We'll see how long that lasts right enough. We'll maybe go into the final boss and uh, get absolutely smashed. But for the time being, we're actually making quick work of these guys. As long as we don't get hit by anything else cheesy, we should be absolutely fine here. <clears throat> what I'll maybe do is once this fight is completed, just before we obviously go into the Pinkstone house, I will just top up our HP, top up our MP and make sure that we are good to go. So if we do end up in a, a random sporadic battle, then hopefully we'll be able to handle it as, as readily as we can. I was hoping to get a, a limit break off here. <clears throat> so this should be us. I think this should be the fight done. Hopefully we have be defeated all the rookies on the way up the ladder towards the, the, final, the final dude. That did very little damage. Was that a Venom Infusion used back on us? Is that what happened there? Yeah, it, did. it was. We didn't even use our Wombo. Alright, because I was going to say, that should have definitely killed him. <laughs> I think this should anyway. Here we go. We're going to get some really good XP for this one. Yeah, so we get 50 grand, 50,000 almost, 49 and a half. We don't get max stats, which is completely... I don't know how that works out. We only get a tiny bit of stats, but we get 420. 420 blaze it on the Tamer XP, which is an absolutely... um. An absolutely fantastic amount of XP. I was trying to think of like a funny, a blazing, a blazing amount of it. I don't, I don't even know. The, the points passed for the joke. So normally, guys, what I would do here is just wander straight into the house. But what I'm going to quickly do is um, harvest this point. I'm also going to wander all the way over to the right hand side here, um, to the eastern part of the, the grounds. Because there is actually a resource point that's over here that I never knew about for a long time. And although I don't think we can get anything spectacular from it. I'm pretty sure there is something decent to be harvested. Is it in the corner? I'm pretty sure there's another resource point here, so just trust me, guys. Just trust... Just just trust me? Just trust me? Yeah, dude. What the fuck? Like, it's telling me it's right along here, but I, didn't, I guess I never went far enough into the corner. I don't even know if we need this particular resource. I'm pretty sure at this point the only thing we need left in this game is holy water. Um. Oh, God. Is this it? It's wood. Is it going to be godwood, maybe? I, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. This might actually suck, guys, so I don't know why I'm baiting you guys. We get great wood, six, fell wood, and star wood, so I guess that's not too bad. Yes. May as well grab this while we're here. I don't think we need half these resources anymore, but I guess if we collect some excess, then we can trade with Vmon and the builder and whatnot. But anyways, the, the, the running around inside the garden will give our dudes a little chance to top back up and stuff. So let me just have a quick peek at their HP and MP. Max HP on the side of Steve as Clive needs topped up though. So what we're going to do is just like normal... We are going to use our uh, shitty recovery discs, so in this case our large recovery discs, to uh, top him up, make sure that he's healthy. Again, I don't want to walk into any of these fights and get one shot, and uh, his MP is fine. Bancho, on the other hand, needs topped up a little bit as well, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Make sure that he's in tip-top condition, and uh, that's us, guys. I think we're good to go. Let's find out what awaits us in the Pinkstone house. What you got for us, game? Hit me. Hit me with your best shot. Welcome, says a voice. Alright, here we go boys. You certainly took your time. Thanks to that, I got to take my time as well, says the voice. Are we going to get this guy introduced to us? I've come up with a name for myself. Would you like to hear it? I think we certainly would, mate. What's up, dog? What's up, dog? That's a nice face you've got there. It's Bolt Boutamon, he says. Cool. Nice. So he's got a set, uh, Bolt Boutamon's quite a, a, a sexy Digimon, if I'm being honest. He's got his sword. He's got his hands, he's got his wings, he's got the pirate hat, and he's also got, like, these kind of hand wings. 
Not entirely sure, but we're getting hit by the epic music right now. The game is trying to make it as clear as possible that this is meant to be a tough fight. So, aha, what do you think? Isn't it elegant? Isn't it refined, he asks? Well, that's not much of a reaction. You ought to show the respect this occasion deserves, he says. Ah, wait, that's right. I suppose it's because your life is nearly over. Bitch, please. Do you know, if anything, if we're not showing any reaction to our face right now as, I'm, as our main character, as young uh, Takuto here, it's probably because every fight we've ever challenged in this game has been below our standards. So... It's just we're preparing ourselves from disappointment. Maybe, Bolt Boutmon, maybe you are uh, in the classic style of One Punch Man. Maybe you are the hero that can actually challenge us. Let's find out. But don't worry, you won't be alone. This whole world will go with you, he says. There seems to be a huge base for the power I seek here, so I'm going to take all of it. All right. My, no, our goal is to swallow up all of the old darkness and mix it together into a new dark power. What do you mean by our goal? I guess he's talking about the fact that there's two guys inside of him, the Piedmon and Myotismon fusion. Maybe. You humans know this well, don't you? The newest products always perform better. That's not necessary. Have you have you, have you you ever heard of a Nokia 3310? That performed its functions just perfectly. I'll have you know, good sir. The old is just a foundation for the new. Such is its purpose. Don't you look puzzled? I think you'll understand when you see my power in action. I made this body first so that no one could escape me in this world after all. Though I did just use whatever materials I had, there's certainly room for improvement. <clears throat> How about my foot in your ass? Would that improve things? Now let's begin. The Banquet of Blood, the Feast of Madness. Alright boys, this is it. Let's gear up. Time to fight the biggie, the baddie. What's he got for us? Let's see. Level 80 guys. And I've heard many, many good things about this dude. So we are not going to hold back here. We're just going to go all out. We're going to start with our utility plug-in X's, which is going to increase our attack and defense. Hopefully we're not going to get BM'd by this guy. And then on top of that, we're also going to use our utility booster S's as well, which is going to increase our defense and attack range. So we'll pop these on our dudes. And from here, hopefully we can tangle with this guy. We could EXE if necessary. We do have that option available. But for the time being, I'm just going to be keeping an eye on him doing limit breaks through all the fire and the flames. That is a lot of fucking damage, mate. That is a lot of damage to Hercules Cavaterimon. All right. We'll chuck some recoveries at that dude. And I think we actually have to recover again. Otherwise, if this guy pops off, we might actually end up losing a lot. We take very, very little damage from this guy so far, folks. Which is uh, kind of terrifying, considering how much damage he did back to us. Do we want to EXE for this fight? It looks like we might be having to, guys. He does a lot of damage back to us. Nightmare used, and uh, and it knocks us flat on our booties. We are kind of got to be careful now, because based on how slowly this guy is losing HP, I'm kind of nervous. I'm thinking that we should try and EXE as quickly as possible, and uh, that is us able to do it right now. So I don't think we wait around... I think we just go for max damage, max power, cross evolution, here we go. Let's see what we can throw at this guy. Now, if I remember correctly, we haven't EXE'd in quite some time, but I'm pretty sure that our fusion is Paladromon. So, we're going to have Paladromon coming out to play once again. Not not what I was expecting when I when I chose these guys, but again, the only one we did cho choose of these two partners was Bancho Leomon for the Dartromon quest. Our Hercules Cavaterimon decided to do whatever he wanted, so... I guess it is fate that we have Paladromon here. He is quickly becoming one of the MVPs of this series. Um, which is funny because I never thought I'd say that. But hopefully Paladromon can help us stand up to this guy. So far he doesn't even look like he's took a scratch of damage. Now I'm thinking that this, this fusion should take us up to max stats. So it should be a fairly even match from this point onwards. Hopefully. I'm hoping that our, e our limit break here will actually give us a bit of a an indication that we can hopefully damage this guy. So he takes 5,000 damage and we have finally grazed him. I think we need to reboost ourselves, which is a bit of a pain. I don't think the uh, the booster carries on. So we're just going to go ahead and use a utility plug in X for maximum efficiency here. And then we're also going to use a utility booster S as well and try and top our guy up. So we are in max form. You can see down the bottom right, our HP and our MP is up to 99999, which is the max. Is that a limit break? Is he using a limit break on us? Let's defend. No, he's not. He's chilling. But his moves are incredibly powerful, guys. One regular attack does 10k damage. So this is it. This is the challenge we've been waiting for this whole time. He's pretty fast as well. So you can see that... I see he's very fast, but so far his attacks have been fairly fast-paced. I don't know if it's just because Paladromon isn't doing fucking anything right now at this point in time. I would love if we could, I would love if we'd hit back. But um, otherwise, we might end up taking a loss here. It's Paladromon, come on, buddy. You got this. You got this. Hit back. There we go. Interesting. We are taking so much damage and we are doing nothing back to him. There's a fight in aura. He blocks it by the looks of things and we take more damage back. This guy is absolutely insane. 
He is by far the hardest Digimon we have fought against at this point, and we need to break through his defense, otherwise this is not, this is going to be a long and strenuous fight. I think with that being used on us, I think what we're going to do here is use our uh, full recovery disc, try and remove that, and also use some of our other healing options. This guy is an absolute nightmare. I think what we should do here is probably use Burning Heart. Oh, I can't do it right now. And Oh, dude. This is troublesome, guys. Let's use Burning Heart. And then I think from there, once we buff ourselves, we're going to go into our uh, Positron Laser Ultimate. Hopefully this hurts. Hopefully this scratches him. Otherwise, we are in for a really, really dodgy fight. A really dodgy fight, guys. There we go. We finally do a bit of damage to him. 6,000, but again, we are... Uh, Slowly chunking away. That is his limit break. We definitely cannot be hit by that, guys. We've got Pernicious Waltz here. Very cool. Alright. Reminds me of the old Fiora out there. So random, but uh, so cool. Alright. Decent. We need to keep getting our limit break up, guys. This is like a true challenge. He just, every single time, he hits us a little bit faster than we can hit him. I think what I'm going to do is, well, we've got this guy in a kind of safe spot. I'm going to try and filter in some of our shittier recoveries otherwise we're going to run out of a uh, super recovery so i'm just playing the long game here folks just trying to keep an eye on this um i guess we use some of our full rec Ugh. super hollow disc as well we've got i don't think we need to use that at this particular point we don't need to revive and restore but i feel like that might be useful at some point too pretty pretty tough guys this guy's giving us a run for our money i think that so far the only times we've ever damaged him has been when we uh when we used our limit breaks which is Pretty terrifying. <laughs> it's pretty terrifying. We are definitely in for a long one. Let's use some super recoveries on spam here until we get our HP back. Down to 65, which is uh, pretty worrying. I think the sooner we proc this guy's uh, armor, the better, because right now we are doing no damage to him. We need to get in a rhythm where we actually attack him faster, because right now we're doing nothing to him. There's a fighting aura. Can this do any damage? It does nine. I think we just go for the old... Uh, Psytron laser again. I should maybe look at what our uh, passive ability is as well just now guys Make sure that if we have anything beneficial like a, a, a health heal or something like that for Paladromon then I should be using that Do another 5,000 damage, but we don't break his defenses just yet, which is kind of a uh, kind of nerve-wracking Gotta watch here that he's not going in for another limit break because if he catches us with one of them then we're gonna feel it Holy shit, this guy is a uh, Stressful very stressful. Let's use a, a full recovery here. Another 14,000 damage. Holy shit. We can use Agitated, a stance that will help us gradually recover HP. I think we should be using that at some point soon, guys. Hopefully when we use some attacks here, I can get him up to Agitated form. But I can't use it when we uh, I can't use it when we don't have enough to block, so I need to make sure we've got enough points to block and do Agitated at the same time. That was poor timing there, so I apologise, guys. Going to use Agitated here. Hopefully that's going to help us recover HP as the fight goes on. There we go. And luckily we still have enough H we have enough uh, points to block if we need to as well, so that's important. Obviously, I want to keep our HP high enough so that if ever we get in this form where you know when we are confused and we can't, we don't, we're not able to control our guy. If we were in that stage and then he attacked us, then we would obviously we would be in a spot of bother because I wouldn't be able to defend and it might actually end up killing us. So still not managed to break through this guy's uh, defenses just yet. He is honestly causing us so much stress; it's unreal. There's a Mac jab, does a critical hit of 100 damage. <laughs> insane. <laughs> Absolutely insane. Let's uh, recover some HP here. <clears throat> I'm wishing we had some better items, but I don't know if there's any in the game that we could have actually been using. There's another power up. Hopefully we should be gradually recovering HP as well because of the agitated stance, but I don't know when that wears off. There is his limit break, so we're going to go ahead and defend that. Pernicious Wolves comes out for the second time this fight. I'm so glad that there's the functionality in this game where we can block and not take any damage because right now this guy would be insane. We, he, he would be absolutely insane. We're still recovering HP, which is really good for us. We're kind of negating some of his uh, attacks by doing that kind of stuff. So we need to break through his uh, his his defenses because right now it's causing us too much stru like stress. We get a critical there for 4,000. Have we finally managed it? Have we finally managed to get this guy in a good spot? <clears throat> Let's use some of our... Uh, Let's use a recovery disc, get rid of the confusion here. Because again, we want full control of our character. We need to be able to con control that at all points. I think we've actually lost our agitated state, so I'm going to go ahead and reactivate that. Because I'm pretty sure it's timed out. So we need to get this on to kind of gradually recover HP in whatever way we can. 
He looks like he's going in. I don't know if I need to be defending more, guys, but I feel like the uh, the rate at which we've been doing damage to him, I can't really take my foot off the, the attacking... If I, if I use more of our points to defend, then we might end up cons like cons conserving more HP, but at the same time, I don't know, I'm kind of nervous. I'm just going to keep feeding in some of our shitty recovery items just to kind of help. He's broke our defense again. And that is a big bit of damage, so I'm just going to go ahead and use one of our supers here. Take us out of the, the danger zone, if you like. And, uh, yeah. Can we do a little bit more damage here? Still very, very little. There's another Nightmare on us, which is pretty chronic. I guess we could use some uh, super regen discs here, which are expensive to waste, but if they recover us with 20,000 HP, even without the revive functionality, it is still a good, uh, a good way for us to kind of sustain a little bit, so... I'm just going to throw these in. I think what we'll do in a minute is if this connects, we'll get a good order boost here. Did, oh no, he broke us again. Okay. Yeah, and then there's the crit for 22,000 damage. I'm keeping an eye on when he's going to use his limit break, guys, because if I don't keep an eye on that, then we're going to pay the price. But, um, okay. <laughs> I've never heard the music get to this late in the song before. Going to use some more super regens to top ourselves up, just in the off chance that this guy catches us with something filthy out of the at the corner of the screen or something and I don't expect it. I don't want to waste any more super recoveries than I have to so we're just going to top up a little bit more. Probably use one of our super revives here. One of our full recoveries. Use that bad boy. Top ourselves up. There's a crit for 2000. I mean not amazing by any standards but I think what we can do here is if we go into we've got that kind of annoying thing on us right now. The NG. Here we go. So if I, if I do burning heart and then we get the buff and then if I can get my Psytron laser off the back of this, hopefully we will be in a good spot to do a little bit of damage here, folks. Such a slow fight, but such a grind. I'm loving it. I'm actually loving it. We've never been challenged in this way before. And if we did not come fully stocked, then uh, I don't know what would happen. We do 6,000 to this dude. I can't tell if that's his limit break, but I think it is. Luckily, we get the, uh, the defense off. We've used our limit break twice. Three times in this fight? Three times? He's used his three times as well. So... We're 3 for 3, I'm pretty sure, on the limit breaks. Luckily, he hasn't defended any of ours. Um, I'm glad that's not been a possibility. But what we'll do here is just try and conserve more HP by doing our agitated stance. Just recover HP gradually. And then we're going to just try and limit break him again. It's all about getting order points, guys. Timing as, as best we can. And just trying to maintain and sustain through this fight. I don't think he's going to do another... Uh, I don't think he's going to do another limit break on us. For quite some time because normally it's only after we chunk him and as our normal attacks don't chunk him it doesn't it, we don't we don't have to really worry about getting threatened by that too often i don't think but that being said i'm going to try and concentrate just to make sure he doesn't kind of side swipe us we do get the order points on that on that attack which is pretty good i think it's about time we throw out some more uh, hba items here so we'll go ahead and chuck out a bunch of these large double discs Obviously not as good as a super recovery, but in terms of just getting back like 20,000 HP, it's going to do just fine. I'm going to just go ahead and use another one. Why not? Try and keep our HP up again as much as possible. Although when he's doing 14,000 fucking damage to us, <laughs> who knows? <laughs> Alright. It seems like the best way to take this guy is to just keep doing the burning heart into the uh, the limit break combo. I'm unsure of whether the burning heart is actually going to benefit us seeing as we're at max stats. I don't know if the burning heart is going to stack on top of our regular stats if we are at max stats maybe it doesn't even matter it's really really hard to tell at this point but it's the only thing we can kind of cling on to let's go ahead and use um burning heart here and then we'll use Poseidon laser right afterwards so here we go we'll let that buff go off i think our guy should do it right there there we go burning heart activated i want to make sure that if we go ahead and use our limit break right now at this point in time we need to have block blocking capabilities right after there we go, we'll get rid of the uh, confusion and I'm going to use some super recoveries to go up. Obviously our burning heart is going to wear off, so if I don't hurry up and use our limit break, we're going to be in a spot of bother, but I think we can get it off now. Nice. Almost got him down to half HP, I'm hoping that this takes him just below, and we should be okay. We're running through over half of our resources at this point, guys, so if he does start to up his game a little bit as we get down, but there we go, 15,000, wow, that was so much better. He's going to answer with his limit break, so obviously we're going to defend that shit. Don't want to be caught out now, we're doing so well. We limit break, he limit breaks. It's a tip for attack game at this point. Luckily he doesn't have a massive bag of recoveries at his disposal, but let's see if we can keep this going. We're doing pretty well. I don't really want to be using any more of our, uh, 
our extra stance, you know, the passive HP regen, because I feel that for uh, for 50 points, it's actually quite a lot um, to consume. So, yeah. I don't know if I should just be saving up for the limit breaks, because it seems at this point our limit breaks is the only way we can damage this guy. As, uh, as ridiculous as it is to say that, considering that we are at, like, max stats and whatnot, it's absolutely nuts. Let's use some more super regen disc here. I'll probably fire a couple at our dude just to make sure that we're uh, topped up. Again, keeping an eye for when we go in for an attack so that we can try and uh, and get as many order points as possible. When he attacks us there, if we time it perfectly, we actually get a fuck ton, which is really, really good. Um, it's a shame we couldn't time our own attacks, but he's just so fast. He's honestly so fast. I don't want to keep using our full recoveries anymore, guys, because we, are, we might need those in terms of when he goes in for his limit break, and we need to be able to block, so I can't throw that. I can't throw that fight. That moment in the fight is too important, so we'll just have to wait for now. Nightmare's going to connect. Unfortunately, I mistimed the order command because I feel like we could have picked up a lot of points there, but regardless, he's going to go ahead and use another ability on us, which I mistimed. Honestly, that's kind of sucky. Going to go ahead and use some large recoveries here just to try and top ourselves up. We are in this kind of sad, depressed stance, which I, I've never found the words to describe it properly, but we, uh, we're just constantly <laughs> item farming. It's, it is what it is, guys. I don't know if this is an entertaining fight at this point, but holy shit, man. What an amount of uh, what amount of resources we are consuming just to try and just to try and get this guy down to half HP is actually insane. There's another nightmare and we're getting kind of nervously I'm getting kind of nervous on how low we're getting here, so I'm just going to super recovery up. I could probably tell us to defend here, but honestly, I want to be on the on the aggressive here, trying to do as much damage as we can. We did scrape him there. Is he going to limit break? No, not yet. Let's just keep super recovery and top ourselves way way back up. Just keeping the kind of safety zone because, again, I don't want to get cheesed at this point. We've gone pretty low and I'm pretty sure we've broken through his defense because we've stopped doing like 10 HP like damage to him. It's a shame that our dude is a... Uh, is that a limit break? No, it's not a limit break. We're fine. It's a, it's a bit of a shame that our guy seems to be a lot slower because I thought that if he was at max stats, he would be going in there non-stop. But I guess when he gets CC'd by the enemy's moves like that, when he gets knocked on his ass, obviously it's a... Uh, it's hard for him to deal with, but... What I'm going to do here, guys, is I'm going to throw one more recovery. I'm going to try and get some points here, and I think we're going to do our Burning Heart combo. So, again, I don't know if this is effective, but it's what we're doing at this point in time. There it is, Burning Heart has been activated. We have the ball and chain on us, so I think what I'll do is before, just on the off chance that this guy limit breaks us soon, I'm going to make sure that we... I'm going to make sure that we are uh, topped up in health just because if we limit break, normally what happens is he immediately responds with a limit break and if I can't tell our dudes to defend, then that could be life and death kind of damage. For the first time ever, we knock him on his ass, which feels fucking amazing. Holy shit, is he going to answer? He is going to answer. We're going to block that shit. There's no way we're letting that land. <sighs> I'm actually exhausted. I'm glad we did this in two parts, guys. If you were looking for a decent fight, then... Welcome to the decent fight. <laughs> We've almost got him down, guys, and at this point, victory looks pretty close. Um, normally, when you get the Digimon down to this kind of critical level, they start kind of really popping off and stuff. We do actually land that, which is important. I thought that fighting aura was just going to phase through him there, but it, luckily, it actually lands in time. We take a massive amount of damage there. That is horrific. Let's use a full recovery here. going to use that just on the off chance that he limit breaks. I don't think he is, but... Top up our HP, try and get back to this kind of safety zone. We're going to help with a fight aura here, hopefully, for 3,000 damage. We are now confused, so I need to make sure that we are getting rid of that confusion ASAP, because if he decides to limit break here, which he might do, we need to be in full control. I'm glad we went and spoke to Garjamon and prepared all those full recoveries, because right now they're coming in um, super, super important. Going to throw a super recovery at our guy here, which is kind of uh, scary. I'm still waiting on him to use his, his limit break, and if he uses it now when I'm in mid-item animation, we might actually take a loss, so I really have to be careful with that. If I mistime one of these item throws, he might actually go in for the kill, and if I don't block it, I don't know how much damage his his limit break actually does. That's why as we close, as we kind of close down the end of the fight and we get closer and closer to the end, I want to constantly make sure that um, we are topped up at full HP so he doesn't pull any fast ones. We can kind of go all out, we don't need to pace ourselves as much in the item department anymore. Here we're going to use Burning Heart top ourselves up and I think we can use Psytron laser to try and defend against that ability that he's used on us right there I don't think it's gonna land anymore so hopefully this takes him pretty low I don't think this is gonna be the killing blow but you never know if we get lucky 
16,000 damage, he's probably going to respond here. He does. We make sure the block lands and we should be safe now. We should be in the clear, guys. I think we managed it. After this point, I don't think he's going to use any more limit breaks. And as long as this defended properly, we should be in a good spot. We should be in a good spot. Here we go. One damage. He's at negative HP. Finish his ass off. Come on, boys. <laughs> Come on, you guys got this. Cleave in their fullest uh, in their fullest form. Although in saying that, I'm not gonna fucking dick around now. N more super recoveries getting thrown in just to make sure this guy doesn't pull a fast one. I could only imagine the comment section if we were to get defeated by some sort of bullshittery now. Again, he confuses us. We're gonna remove that in case he goes in for the limit break. Don't want hit by that, guys, obviously. For obvious reasons. This guy just is non-stop. We, uh, we need Cleave to actually go in for the kill. They've not actually landed an attack in ages. Can I just defend this? There we go, and now we're confused as well. I don't think we need to worry about it though while we're in the defensive stance. We'll use this opportunity to power up. Go on for the kill! He blocks it! We are broken now, so we need to- <laughs> Fucking this fight! <laughs> this fight, absolutely nuts, man. Absolutely nuts. This is probably gonna land on us as well. There's another nightmare for a critical. We land the spinning attack. Can we finish this guy off with a Mac jab? Do we dare it? Do we dare it? I think we go for the BM, guys. Okay, we- <laughs> It, oh god, it gets thrown back in our face. Mac jab not effective when we're not close enough, but if we if we can get it off now, I think we can finish this guy off with a Mac jab. Can we get close enough? If our dudes move it, there's a, an, an insane standoff right now where it's like, no, you go first. You go first. Mac jab? Can we land on a fighting aura? This has got... He blocks it and survives. Mac jab? Can we get it? Can we get it, please? He blocks that as well. I have no idea what's going on anymore. I cannot lose the fight at this point, guys. <laughs> Fighting aura doesn't do enough damage. We take 16,000 damage to the fucking face just as this guy is about to go down. I have no idea how this dude is still standing, but holy fucking shit. Fighting aura comes through, does six damage. I think we need to land an ultimate to finish him off. I have no idea how much HP this guy's got anymore. There's the Mac jab. We get 24 points. We're really close to our limit break, and I think this has got to be it, guys. We let this land, we get a power up from it maybe. Nightmare lands, holy shit, no, not like this. <laughs> right, we're fine, everybody relax. If, if he uses a fucking limit break now, I would be horrified. Obviously I'm not playing this optimal in the slightest guys. If I actually just focused on the order commands, I'd be able to land this properly, but I think we're gonna be okay. There it is, Poseidon laser. If this doesn't finish this fucker off, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Bolt Boatmon, take that, ya bass. Jeez. How long did that fight last? It was like a 30 minute fight or some shit. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Now, they told me Bolt Boatmon DLC was hard, but I wasn't prepared for how strenuous that was. Can you call that fight hard, guys? Or is that just... It's like a sheer like strain I'm trying to think of the word it's like a a battle of attrition it's like who who's got the most life <laughs> who's got the most healing can your healing items out sustain how much defense and HP this motherfucker has holy god man so Clave and Steve went into Cleave they fused EXE and they were slow they were slow um even supposedly at max stats like when they fuse they should technically have max stats I don't think we can get any stronger than that, but they are slow, guys. Their moves aren't super, super strong, unfortunately. We've got the spinning attack, we've got Mac Jab, and then obviously we've got our ultimate and burning heart. So really the choice of moves for Paladromont are not that insane. But I think that we the fact that we managed to defeat him is a victory in itself, and it's something we can be chuffed about. Now, moving forward, I have heard rumors that you have to fight this guy more than once. So the fact that this was our first encounter with this guy, apparently he is a nightmare in the rematch. If that was just, if that was the first move, the first battle, and that's the easy part, then I don't even fucking know what to say. I don't even know what to say, but we'll take that as it comes. Let's see what this bitch has to say now that we have defeated his ass. Here we go. Let's find out. What about my friend? What have you got to say for yourself? Here comes Shoma and the crew. They come running in. Wolfie, says Shoma. Just in time. Let's hide for a minute, because this is pretty cool, seeing all these guys in, this, in the one frame at once, guys. Well, we can't miss this opportunity, says Bilzimon. Everyone, get information, now. Well, now, I believe I've seen some of these faces before, says Bolt Boutmon. So I guess everybody's moving up to try and take this guy down while they finally have the chance. <laughs> I don't know. 
Noir says, pleasure to meet you, and goodbye, you're about to be wiped from this world. This should work, follow my timing, everyone. How annoying. Oh, well, here you go, says Lusamon. And then everybody pops off, has their wicked way with Boat Boutmon. <laughs> Absolutely insane, guys. <laughs> Absolutely insane. It takes the full squadron of the Evil Sins Digimon, the Enforcer, and us to defeat this guy. Bolt Boutmon says, huh? What's this? Shoba's here. It didn't work. No. What's going on? It... Oh, it worked. It just didn't work good enough, says Bolt Boutmon. Let's pop back into the screen here. This looks crazy, guys. I, I don't even... I'm still exhausted from the last fight, so if I appear a bit out of breath or not quite with it, then bear with me. Musimon says, oh, you monster. You monster. I feel like that's selling it short, but this is as far as you go, says Bolt Boutmon. This is it. We were so close, says Noir. No, says Shoma. Alas, I believe the party's ending. I'm a bit tired of all these guests. Though it was an enjoyable time, I gotta make a backup of this body as well. I believe I'll retire for now. So there you have it. It looks like, but I'm loath to give up easily and I'm very patient if I do say so myself. They tried their best, guys, but Bolt Boutmon is peacing out like an absolute fucking legend. He's like, you guys, you tried, you gave it your best shot, but I'm gonna be back. Enjoy your moment of peace until the next party begins. Ha! And off he troddles. Beelzemon, it vanished. Did it get away? I mean, what the fuck do you think, Beelzemon? Did it get away? No, he's, he's dead. What? <laughs> Another minute and we would have defeated it, says Noir. Don't get greedy, but we succeeded for now. We drove him off, didn't we? I mean, yeah, but I only took fucking <laughs> all of our items in a half hour grind sesh. <laughs> Shoma says, ah. Here's the rest of the crew. My Osmo and Paimon finally returned to us and they look like they could be back in their normal forms. Oh, look at this crowd. We even got Beelzemon and Lucimon. What is the occasion? So these guys are completely confused at this point. They have no idea what the fuck's going on. You don't remember? Says Shoma and then he has this nervous laugh. I don't know how these guys got to peace out from all of the adventures that we just went through. All of the, all of the fucking nonsense. These guys were just asleep through it all. That's so lucky. I don't even... Ah, Shoma turns to us. What's up, Shoma? What you got to say? Nice work, Wilfie. Let's head back to the town. Roger that, big man. Roger that. Alright. Back to Felicia we go. Digimon's house. I guess we're going to get an indication as to what the fuck is going on with Bolt Boutmon at this point in time. Here we go. Guys, what's up? My, my. How did things end up like this, says Digimon? Even I, my Otismon, was defeated. Ho, ho. How grateful we are to you for returning our bodies to us. Mm. Yeah, dude. If we had the choice, we would have just left you, li like, floating in limbo, Piedmon. But, um... Yeah, it is what it is. But he created a backup, says Talmon. Yes, unfortunately he did, Talmon. We better get ready for the next time we have to fight Bolt Boutmon. We've got a struggle ahead of us, that's for sure. Do you really think it'll be that bad? Hamari, if you had... Hamari, if you had even been there just for a second, this guy would have sneezed and it would have blew your fucking head off, alright? <laughs> is it that bad? Sheesh. Okay, Hamari, Kota, you're back to normal. So obviously, I guess in fairness, Hamari and Kota, they weren't completely conscious they were away back in the real world recovering and stuff so they i guess have no idea what's going on and how powerful that dude was but anyway i guess it might um i might go if it was a real party a welcome back party for you two wouldn't be so bad says digimon lush is up for that and taumon's already rolling his joint so uh yep no thanks i'm good somewhere in town sounds fine to me anywhere as long as you guys are all there oh thanks for that dudes i hope we can all count boat Boutmon as one of our fellow townspeople someday Says Mamio. I mean, I don't know what that's going to be. <laughs> Me too, Wolfie. Mr. Mamio, says Shoma. There we go. And just like that, guys, we cleared the add-on scenario from the Malevolent Fist. It is donezo. Feels good. Now, before I do any more talking about what I want to discuss with you guys in a minute, I wonder if we'll get any kind of digimails once we peace outside. So, let's find out if we get any notifications here. Do we get any, um, any updates or anything? So, obviously, guys, what happened there was... In fact, I'll just check to make sure there's nothing else. Cool. So, if we speak to Jujimon, Mikumon really seems to like the Dimension District. Why not I'll head over there and say hi? So it looks like Mikumon joined the site, which is kind of cool. Uh, Do we get any information about Bolt and Boutmon? No, just talking all about that, dude. Okay, interesting. So, guys, I don't know what procs this, because obviously, based on everything that we just encountered with Bolt Boutmon, Obviously, we um, we defeated him and it came up telling us that we had cleared the extra scenario. But I am pretty sure what happens is Bolt Boutmon, when he does return, he will appear in the Pinkstone house as a kind of permanent boss. He just cycles endlessly. And if you want to go and fight him over and over, you can do that. It's kind of like, 
I don't know, like a like the the most epic post game kind of fight you can do. You can retry that fight as much as you want when he respawns, and I think he probably gives you like extra stuff now. I don't know when you defeat him for the first time in the rematch if he says anything new. I don't know if you get anything special. You guys can let me know if you would like to see me try to find him because apparently the rematch is a lot harder. I don't know how it can be harder than the fight we just did because honestly that shit went on for ages. It was a half an hour fight. So if you guys want to see me trying to find him again to do a rematch, if it is more difficult, I don't know. You guys let me know if you if you guys have any information about this let me know in the comments if you have tried it yourself and played it and you know for a fact that when he fights you again there's extra dialogue line i don't know if there's extra story content i don't know if there's a point to to verse them again maybe you get a trophy or something you guys can let me know if you want to see that we can we can go back and fight him i don't know what procs it. i don't know if he's waiting for us there now or if we need to get a digi mail i will try and do some research to find out to see what it is and when he appears to us but for the most part, we've done the extra scenario, which I'm really pleased about. There are other special Digimon that start to appear in this game as well, in the post-game that I have heard about as well. Apparently, and this is a secret I'll let you guys in with if you're still watching at this point, apparently if you fully upgrade your museum to the max level, which is something that I actually... I'm not entirely sure if we have accomplished that or not. Let's go into the builder and check. If you, um, if you put your builder or make your builder upgrade your... Museum to the max level. Apparently, Rosemont BM actually starts appearing inside the uh, the Rose Palace. So that's like an extra fight you can do as well. I would kind of like to get around to doing that if possible. But in, until we um, upgrade our uh, our museum to max ramp, we won't be able to do that now. In order to upgrade our museum, we need uh, 40 emeralds, which um, it sounds like quite a lot. But I think if we just grind the paths of the Dimension District over and over, it shouldn't be that hard to manage to um, pick these up. In addition, I think we actually need those emeralds for something else that I was looking at before as well. Um, maybe it's something to do with like these particular places. It would be cool to upgrade the, the, the hospital because I'm pretty sure that will give us access to full recoveries, which would be very, very useful. Uh, in addition, we could also upgrade the square. This is something that caught my eye when I was playing off screen and I was grinding some resources. I was trying to get our... Um, you know, our fishing hole, holy water you see there, we've got, we're up to 59 out of 70, so we're really, really close. Um, I realised that we could actually upgrade our square, which I've never done before in my life. Um, it says right now that the... Uh, I, I guess that it instantly upgrades if you up upgrade the square. It's something that I want to do, guys, but unfortunately it's going to consume more of our holy water, which we're trying to um, pick up. So if holy water wasn't involved in this transaction, I would just hit this upgrade now and let you guys see the, the square for... Like, see the square in all its glory. I've never seen it myself, but I would really like to do that at some point. But unfortunately, for the time being, my main agenda is the fishing hole the ho and the holy water. Okay, so... Sorry to spam that, but in the meantime, I will also, I will also collect Digi Emeralds, which should let us upgrade our museum, and then finally allow us to um, maybe even proc that Rosemon Burst Mode appearance inside the Rose Palace. Again, that's something I've heard online. I'm pretty sure it's true, but if it's not, then you guys can let me know. I'm just um, speculating with you guys at this point. But for the most part, this is a 46-minute episode. That fight with Boat Boatmon was definitely something else. You guys can let me know if you want to see a rematch with that dude again because of how difficult that fight was. I am going to make these guys chill out for a bit. I'm going to run around off-screen. I'm going to do some dimension paths collect some more resources, try and upgrade our fishing hole, and then hopefully in the next episode, if we are not going back to fight Bolt Boutmon, we can actually have our fishing episode, and however long that's going to be, we're going to fish, we're going to complete our fishing banks, and uh, yeah, I look forward to doing that, because it should be a lot more chillax, hopefully, than the fighting that we did today, so thanks for watching guys, that is a pretty much an update on everything that's going on with the series, we're um, only a couple episodes left at this point, if our, if our next episode is not the last one, then I doubt we'll have much more after that. But I want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for watching. It's been a fantastic journey. We finally defeated Bolt Boutmon and uh, it feels good. You guys let me know what you want to see next in terms of Digimon. But um, everything else on the channel, I'll have more updates than that coming out later this week as well. As, yeah, on top of all that. So thanks for watching, guys. You are the absolute best. Let me know all your thoughts and feelings and I will see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.